What's up? This is Danita, and today I'm going to be showing you those four reasons about why women over 40 are gaining those extra pounds, even though they're not eating any different or they're not exercising any different. I personally specialize in helping women that are over 40 and really trying to cut that hormonal weight, and I'm going to teach you how we can reverse it. I remember hearing these women specifically saying, wow, I cannot eat the same things that I used to just by cutting a few of that extra calories. I just can't do that anymore. I, the, the workouts, I can't just run just a few little extra. Things are different. It's because after 40, weight loss is just much more than just cutting calories. It's because our estrogen shifting, which our hormones are changing, which is our metabolism and our muscle mass is declining. Now there is a fact that we can be losing up to 10% of our lean muscle mass every decade after the age of 30. And a lot of us are just trying to eat less, move more is what we were told by our doctors, when in reality it's proven that is not gonna be working. So here are the top four reasons that I have found of why we are putting on that hormonal weight. The first one is commonly I see a lot of women are skipping meals and that is what's unbalancing their blood sugar and creating that visceral, AKA that belly fat. Number two is that when our muscle mass is declining, women are just jumping onto cardio and they're not really counteracting it with the strength training. So cardio is, it needs to burn energy. And oftentimes when we're just trying to burn energy, we can also be basically burning our muscle. And it's so important that we are actually counteracting that as the older and older that we're getting. And number three is our sleep becomes more disturbed because our hormones are basically dancing and staying up all night, uh, applying a few th principles, which I'll go into in just a moment, about how we can actually start to balance our hormones so we can regulate our sleep. Number four is the stress increasing the cortisol, which is creating that inflammation and the gut issues, which is causing way more issues than you can imagine. So it's really important as we focus on stress. I'm gonna go into that as far as some solutions here next. So you're like, okay, Danita, but how do I really stop stressing? Just quit my job or just quit life? Like it's impossible, right? It feels that way. And so here are the three solutions start to manage our menopause weight gain, which is going to help us find ourselves more in that homeostasis, that foundation, so we can create that level of balance. The first one is we need to be choosing the right nutrition, not just eating less. This is one of the biggest common mistakes that is dysregulating our blood sugar and our gut health. And so being able to really like eat for our muscle mass eat for our balanced blood sugar and eat for our gut health is really going to change our menopause symptoms. Number two is really focusing on building back your metabolism because of all of that decline muscle that we are going through every decade. And so instead of just thinking of cardio, really think about that resistance training. And I'm going to be honest with you, it only takes about 15 minutes a day of three days a week that we can start to really repair and rebuild that muscle growth, which in turn is going to help burn our fat so much faster. Number three is that when we really go to the core level of stress, Oftentimes, we're going to find that it comes from that worry, the fears, the self-doubt, limiting beliefs. When we can go to the core of those, have the awareness of those, and turn those to truth, that is what changes the emotion. And emotion is what drives the action, and actions is what drives our outcome. And so we truly start to find that manageability and that control over our lives again and over our stress that really is what's going to be impacting our deep sleep that has, like we were mentioning earlier, so much effect on our overall hormone health. I've also had a few women ask me about the hormone replacement therapy, otherwise known as HRT. And they said, are those effective? And I said, yes, they can be effective, but knowing that these three things is your foundation, otherwise it's not going to be as effective. So if you're experiencing those hot flashes, mood changes, weight gain, those reoccurring UTIs, bloating, anxiety, belly fat, difficulty sleeping, I mean, the list really goes on. I've got about 35 different symptoms that we can have during this time in our life. And those are not normal. It's like our body just is so smart and it wants to work for us. And so as soon as we start to really give our body what it needs, it's like we become into that hormone harmony and we can really have a lot less of these symptoms and really have a beautiful stage of our life as we come into perimenopause, menopause, or postmenopause. So if this resonates with you and you want to be more in control of this stage of your life and really with 
being able to lose those extra pounds, then go ahead and just comment and we'll be able to open up that conversation so I can find out what you're currently doing now, what your nutrition is looking like now, or what are some of those blocks that's really getting in your way. And we'll go ahead and work through those together. Lots of love and I'll see you guys on the other side.